So we're given y prime equals 5y plus sine of x. And we're told that when x equals 0, y equals 2. Okay? We want to find a couple things. We want to find um, a formula for b sub k. Then we want to find the terms 1 through 8, um, meaning like, I mean, terms 0 through 8, so b sub 0, b sub 1, da 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 da, b sub 8. And then we want to find an approximation with the first four non-zero terms when x is equal to 0 0.1. Okay. So um, let's write this here. We can say that y equal the sum of some constant b sub k, where sum is from k equals 0 to infinity of b sub k times x minus our initial value, which is 0, so it's just x to the k. Okay. And now we're going to say that the derivative of this is equal to, oh, sorry, sum, ugly sum sign, they're much better, sort of, equal to k equals 1 to infinity of k times b sub k times x to the k minus 1. Now the reason I change this to k equals 1 instead of k equals 0, which you should do, is because the k equals 0 term is just 0. So it doesn't really matter. So then I'm going to substitute this and say I have some j here. It doesn't really matter, just j for jelly beans for this problem, is equal to k minus 1. And then we're going to add 1 to both sides. We have j plus 1 equals k. Okay. So now wherever we see a k minus 1, we're going to put a j. Wherever we see k, put j plus 1. And another thing is, since k equaled 1, J equals zero. Another thing to note. I'm gonna write this here. Um, J equals k minus one, which equals one minus one, which equals zero. So now we have this new summation from J equals zero to infinity of J plus one times B sub J plus one times x to the j. Okay. So now we're going to look back here. Look at what that's equal to. I'm going to put this in a different color to distinguish that this is something else. Blue. It's close enough in where I'm writing that you can tell it's different. Ta-da. Okay. So y prime over there is equal to, we have two series here. One is series from k equals 0 to infinity of 5 times y, which we said was this. So 5 times b sub k times x to the k plus the series for when k equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 uh, times x to the 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 factorial. Okay. So now we're going to have two different things for j's, which is like the letter j. And we're going to say that this first j is pretty simple. j equals K. You always want to make J whatever this is right here on top. So J equals K for all this. There's no other changing required. So this is just equal to summation of J equals 0 to infinity of 5 B sub J uh, times X to the J. Okay, now this one color green. 
say j equals 2k plus 1. So j minus 1 equals 2k, or that k equals j minus 1 over 2. Now, the way we're going to write this right now, put this here, I guess. j equals 0 to infinity of negative 1. Oh, I forgot to write a k here. Negative 1 to the j minus 1, 2, times x to the j over j factorial. Now, this is only partially true. Why do I say partially? Because sine of x, when you have the summation series, it's x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth um, over x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus x to the seventh over 7 factorial plus blah, 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 blah whatever. The point is odd number terms only. Therefore, when two parts here. So when j is even, meaning the powers here for this here is even, that doesn't exist. Therefore, when j is even, this doesn't happen. But when j is odd, this version is when j is an odd number. If j is even, there is no series. So plus zero. There you go. It's important to note that these are two different ways of writing this. So now I'm going to move over. To this other board. Use some white chalk. And we're actually going to do this twice. We're going to do this once for j is an even number and once for when j is an odd number. So we're going to do the even ones first. It's less to write, I guess. So we had said before that y prime is equal to series from j equals 0 to infinity of j plus 1 times b of j plus 1 um, times x to the j. And that's equal to blue chalk. The series for j equals 0 to infinity of 5 b sub j times x to the j. So we know. This is evens, even j. Okay, so we can say, oh, that's what else? Is that right? Is that right? Yes, yes. Um, yes. Oh, something I forgot to say over here is that if we take this series here, and wherever there's an x, we make it 0, you end up with just b sub 0. So b sub 0 is this 2. Something to note. Now we're back over here. So when we make a recursive relation, we can say that this is equal to Write this all in white, it doesn't really matter. J plus 1 times B J plus 1. B sub J. And therefore, B sub J plus 1 is equal to 5 times B sub J over J plus 1. Or, B sub J is. 5 times b sub j minus 1 over j. 
And remember, this only holds true for if j is an even number. Okay. Now, write this over here. This is for j is even. This is half of our answer for A. Okay. So now, if it's even, then have okay. um, so if it's odd, this part's still the same. of negative 1 to the j minus 1 over 2 times x to the j over j factorial. Or we can condense these, put them together, say it's just equal summation from j equals 0 to infinity of 5 e sub j plus negative 1 to the j minus 1 over 2 over j factorial times x to the j. So this is odd j's. Okay. So now we're going to make another recursive relation and say that j plus 1, e sub j plus 1, is equal to 5 e sub j plus negative 1 to the j minus 1 over 2 for j factorial. So e sub j plus 1 is equal to 5 e sub j plus negative 1 to j minus 1 over 2 over j factorial, all of that divided by j plus 1. So that's our other response, which we can rewrite as b sub Actually, I like it this way. I'm going to keep it the same format like this. It's cool. Um, so this is our second recursive relation. So I guess this is this one blue. Make this one green so you don't forget. They're awesome. Okay. So now that was A. Now we're moving on to B. So we know that we've got to write this here. Section off here. Just like colors. So we know b sub 0 is equal to 2. Okay, now we want to look at b sub 1. So if we use the format for j that 1 is equal to j plus 1, that means j is 0. So j is an even, which means we're going to look at this one here. See that that's equal to 5 times 2 over j plus 1, which is 1. So we have 10. So b sub 1 equals 10. So now we have b sub 2. b sub 2 now follows this format. So we have 5 times b sub 1, which is 10, plus negative 1 to the, here we have, if j plus 1 equals 2, that means j is 1. So j minus 1 is 0. 0 over 2 is 0. Negative 1 to 0 is 1. 1 over 1 factorial. It's just 1. That was a mess of just saying 5 times 10 plus 1 over 2. So 51 over 2. Okay. So now we 
we have b sub 3 is equal to going back to our other format. So we have 5 times 51 over 2. 5 times 51 over 2 divided by 3. So 5 times 51 over 3 times 2. Um, and this can be reduced to 17. And 5 times 17 is 85 over 2. There's our, our first 4. We have 5 more to go. Yes. Now we have, great, in a different color so they don't get confused with the numbers, but b sub 4 is equal to, back over here, 5 times 85 over 2. Now this time, since this is plus, now we have minus, but it's not over 1 factorial, it's over 3 factorial, so minus 1 over 6 over 4. Yeah. So this 4 comes from, this is 3 factorial, yep, that looks good. Okay, so this will come out to be 5 times 85 over 2. Uh, if we multiply that by 3, then we can have 15 times 85 minus 1. Pull down the 6 over 24. Um, so then we have, I can't do that off the top of my head. 15 times 85 minus 1 over 24. which is 1,274 over 24, but we can divide that by 2 from the top and the bottom, so that comes out to be 637 over 12. Okay. So now we have B sub 5. Going back, odd format. 5 times 637 over 5 times 12. And just cancel this out. Let's get the same thing. 637 over 12. Okay. Let me erase this. Um, actually, I'm just going to move over to the other board. Right there. B sub 5. So now we're B sub 6. B sub 6 is equal to other format, so 5 times 637 over 12. Goes back to plus 1 over 5 factorial, which is 120, over 6. So we can say that we multiply this by 10, then we have 50 times 637 plus 1 over 120 times 6, which is 720. So 50 plus 67, oh wait, 50 times 637 plus 1. Um, divided by 720 uh, they are both multiples of 3 because this right here is 3, 31,851 multiples of 9 so 31851 divided by 9 so we have 537 oh that looked atrocious Three five three seven over eighty. Okay, two more. Three six seven five times three five three seven over seven times eighty. Eighty divided by five is sixteen. Five three seven. 
not in fact divisible by 7. They don't have a smaller, uh, a common number. It cannot be reduced, so we have 3, 5, 3, 7, meaning 3,537 over 112. One more. Let me erase this. over 7 factorial, which is 5040 over 8. So if you multiply this top here by 45, you end up with 5 times 45 times 3, 5, 3, 7, minus 1, over 8, times 5, 0, 4, 0. And then the top, we end up with 395,824. And in the bottom, we have 40,320, which can be reduced. By 16. So 3, 9, 8, 2, 4 becomes 49,739 over 2,520. Okay. So now the last part um, is we want to do an approximation for some x when x not, and it's equal to x not plus 0 0.1, but our initial x is 0, so it's just 0 0.1. So we only want to use the first four terms, four, first four non-zero terms. So we have um, 2 plus 10 times x plus the next one we said was 51 over 2. So 51 over 2x squared. Let me, hold on. One second. Y at this x, 0 0.1, is equal to 2 plus 10 times 0 0.1. It's 51 over 2 times 0 0.1 squared plus 85 over 2 times 0 0.1 cubed. And that comes out to be... Three point nine, three point two nine, seven five. 